So guys, possible spoilers lay ahead. Uh, if you don't want to be spoiled by possible future content for New World, leave the video now. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so thanks to my pal, My Life Crisis, for sending me over this information, which has come from a website called New World Base. I'll link the website down below if you want to check it out for yourselves or so. So believed to be data mined information on new stuff coming to New World, but I will tell you to take it with a pinch of salt because none of this has been confirmed. And some of it could just be cut content that just has files in the data still. We just don't know. But the website says it's new content that's been discovered. So that's the basis of it. So we have six new expeditions, guys. We have one called the Unholy Depths. This is going to be found within the Great Cleave area. We have the Frozen Passage. This also within the Great Cleave area. Bosses are believed to be the heavy and corrupted ogre. We have another one, I believe that's called Burnacles and Black Powder. Location for this one's gonna be moving Cutlass Keys. This one also for completing it's believe you get a title called the Dissonant Dissident. And the boss for this one's believed to be the Siren Queen. We have another one called the Eridanus Caverns. This one's located within the Restless Shore. We have another one called the Isabella's Lair. Location is Shattered Mountain, level 65 won this one. And the title is Tempest Tamer. And lastly are the six new or believed to be new expeditions. We have the Any8. Location Brimstone Sands. Title for completing this is Magister Militum. Bosses is the Lotus Scarab and the Crasus. Okay, so moving on, and we have three new weapons. Obviously, guys, I can't show you images, but the first new weapon looks basically like a wooden club. Could possibly be a variant of the hatchet. The next one looks like a variant of a battle axe. And the third looks like a, well, what could be a musket, but it's a much, much shorter weapon with a giant blade on the bottom. And we also have the Void Gauntlet, guys, which we, well, it's been spoke about for quite a while now, which is a ranged weapon class, as we know, much like the Ice Gauntlet, but a Void Gauntlet. Can't wait to see this myself. We also have something they state as Blunderbuss, which is a class ideal for keeping targets at a distance and long range combat with a high payoff for a precise aim. Skills, claw shot, net shot, vortex shot, spitting grenade, Azoth shrap new blast and mortar shot. We also have a dagger. This is a class, they say. Dual wielded one handed weapons, close range melee and short range throwing combat. So that's pretty cool, guys. We also have many new armor sets. Now, obviously, I can't show these on screen, but like I said, link to this you'll find below. We have a harbinger set, we have an invasion set, we have a war set, a real court set, a twitch set, a purify set, and a water lug set. Pretty cool. We also have a new PvP arena, but the only information we have here it says there is a possibility to fight against other players and collect points. No more information on this has been said. We also have a new region, guys, called Brimstone Sands, and we spoke about the expedition earlier today in the video. And you can actually test this yourself if you go to the border in Great Cleave and cross it a little bit before you die, you'll get a notice. So this place will be home to various stories. Legion, Alchemist, Albinus Journal, The Price of Freedom, The Fate of Tarquin, In Love and War, From the Mind of the Mad, Nicobor's Lament, The Departure, Digging in the Dirt, Ancient Knowledge, The Carvilia, Our Creators, and The Manic Core. Zones here, we have the Oasis, the Dead Zone, the Barren Waste, Searing Sands, Scorched Battlefield, Windswept Highlands, Shadowed Foothills, Jagged Ridge, and Ancients Rise. And it also comes with new mining resources. Coarse Sand, Fine Sand, Silty Sand, and Charge Sand. A lot of sand people. And lastly guys, there is information, data mined images found on mounts. Horses. Now these ain't 100% but what has been found has been food for horses so you feed your horse, an equipable saddle and an equipable bridle. So make of that what you please but I would absolutely love a mount in this game because when you're out of that as off guys it's a nightmare trying to get across the map. But there we have it guys for this, well what's I guess it's a leak but like I said take it with a pinch of salt. 
There's quite a lot of information here. If any of it is true, I'm quite happy about it. Not that the game really needs it right now, but if this is legit content that is coming, it's good to see that Amazon are on top of the game. But there we have it guys, and the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.